In early 2014, Lowrance launched Spotlight Scan Sonar, and since then we've had a lot of positive reviews from customers, many posting amazing screenshots and uh, their reviews on the blog. But we've also had customers that haven't found the same good results. And today I want to show you how I get the most out of using Spotlight Scan. Spotlight Scan is the first and only angler controlled sonar system, which means the better I can drive the spotlight, the better image I can create on the unit. This allows me to see structure and fish in front of the boat so I can target them without actually spooking the fish. Some of the keys to making Spotlight Scan perform the best are the boat needs to be stationary or relatively still. If you're in big waves, traditional sonar and downscan are better tools to be able to see the fish. The speed of turning the trolling motor pedal needs to be slow and steady. This will generate the cleanest image. If you turn it too quickly, the image will smear. You'll still see the target, it just will be blurry. If I'm fishing a shallow water pattern and I'm going down the bank really quickly, Spotlight Scan is not the tool I would use for that. But if I've marked a waypoint on my chart, I can pull the boat up to it and then I can confirm on Spotlight Scan exactly the right cast to make. I can see the structure and I can see how fish relate to it. Setting the correct range and frequency is, is really important to getting the right picture. I generally use two to three times the depth for my range. So if I'm in 20 feet of water, I generally use 40 to 60 feet of range. And selecting the right frequency, if you're in shallow water, 800 kilohertz is the best for high detail. And if you're in deeper water, say over 40 feet, you want to use 455 kilohertz to get the maximum range. So the way I like to run Spotlight Scan is in a three panel split. So I put the Spotlight Scan in this area, and then I have my chirp sonar and my down scan. And this all comes out of the Spotlight Scan transducer. Now let's look at some different fishing scenarios and how we set up Spotlight Scan. So here we're fishing a bluff, and as we're setting off the bluff uh, about 20 feet, we can actually take and rotate and scan and look at the area and be able to pick out the anomalies that we want to actually fish. So you can see here as we're turning the trolling motor, there's a large, large portion of rock that's right here. And you can also see out to the side where the drop off is. So this one let me know exactly where to position maybe a crankbait down it or a jig. Or if I'm flipping shallow, I can just target this one rock. So next we're going to look at fishing a point. What I like to use Spotlight Scan for is picking out that key spot on the point that's going to draw fish to it. So as we turn the Spotlight Scan here, we can see that the real bright spot is to the right and right in front of us. And then as we look off to the left and, and kind of back behind the boat now, you can see how it drops off. The area is not so bright, but we can also see that some larger rocks laying right behind us. Alright, next we're going to look at fishing flooded timber. What I like about Spotlight Scan for flooded timber is actually being able to see if there's fish setting in the, in the timber itself. So I set the range to be about the same as the depth, and then as I turn it, as I turn the Spotlight Scan, I can start to see that there's trees, and here you can see that we've got quite a bit of fish suspended in the tree. You can really see the tree limbs there, and you can see the fish setting at the end of that tree limb. It's not connected to anything. So now I'm going to show you how I set up the spotlight scan to fish suspended fish. So right now we're in about 45 feet of water, and I like the spotlight range to be about the same depth, so I have it set at 60 feet. And I use 455 kilohertz, which makes the fish targets nice and large and easy to see. With traditional sonar, you can see fish, but you don't know which side of the boat they're in. Spotlight gives you that, that confidence to know exactly where they're at. So you can see as I turn it here, we'll start to pick up these fish targets, and we'll be able to pick out which side of the boat they're on. So you'd know to like pitch out in front of the boat versus pitch over there or cast over there. Your range here is 60 feet, and so that fish is probably 10 feet off the bottom. And if you look here, that fish is about 10 feet off the bottom. So you can kind of correlate it all. So as you can see, with the right settings and the right technique, Spotlight Scan is a powerful tool to increase your success on the water.